John here guys and today we're talking about the STP Gun V2. This is a new frame. Uh, do you know the guys at Rush that make those really awesome Rush tank video transmitters? Uh, well, they're branching out. They're now making stacks and they're making frames and STP is their brand. I didn't really realize that. This is a cool option. It actually comes shipped uh, in this tiny little LiPo battery bag. So if you don't have a LiPo battery bag, you have one, it's it's kind of small, so you might use it for micro batteries. The Velcro, I can't stand Velcro with that tearing sound. But it is nice. Uh, and it comes with a variety of little cool extras. It has a very nice pictogram set of instructions right here for assembling the frame. Uh, it's not too complex. Uh, it's fairly standard but it does have some things that differentiate it. One of the things that I like the best though is that it has a very nice sort of a mid-range price. Comes right in the middle at $44. And in addition to some of the stickers that you see here, you also get a nice dual set of straps, one with a plastic buckle, one with a metal buckle, um, and you get a dual set of battery pads. Um, I have the rubberized one here and there's sort of a soft foam option that's there as well. Now, if you look at this frame, it is very long. Maybe that's why they're calling it the gun, because it's sort of like a long gun. Um, and that is because this is the DJI version of this frame, and it is built to be able to accommodate the DJI system on board. Um, so you have a lot of room for the DJI Air unit at the rear right there. You also have a lot of room at the front. If you were gonna use this for an analog build, Plenty of room for a video transmitter at the front or the rear and your receiver. Um, it has a nice set of prints, comes with three options. Your camera cover here that actually extends the camera um, out front past the front standoffs. I don't know if you would really need that much room. I guess you could also flip it around and do it the other way. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it, more like that. Uh, that probably does make a little bit more sense. Then you have a dual piece at the rear. This um, little bottom lip part is for holding your Crossfire Immortal T antenna. And then you have a dual antenna that has sort of an L shape as for the DJI system set of antennas. Um, so I do like that it comes with that. Another nice feature of this is that it has these dog bone style standoffs. Those are a little bit beefier and nicer than your regular standoff. Uh, if you're talking about premium quality, it has chamfered edges on all of the arms. It has sort of an apex style arm if you look at it right there. Now these are five millimeters. The top plate comes in at 2.3 millimeters. The bottom plate comes in at 2.6 millimeters. And then you have a little sandwich plate in here with some press nuts that holds the arms together. There is no arm slop. They meet in the middle, um, so that's very nice. And that little plate is two millimeters. So the only thing I would really be concerned about is this bottom plate at 2.6 millimeters. Is it really thick enough? Um, some of the new style frame design is for these longer bottom plates to create the sandwich by having a top and a bottom portion. That way you get those plates a little bit shorter, a little bit less likely to crack. Um, so that would be the only thing I would be slightly worried about, but it's probably not really a big concern. It's plenty beefy, offers plenty of camera space and protection right there. I do like when you install these um, camera plates that you do have this sort of curve at the front to offer additional camera protection there. That's quite nice. Uh, I did leave one screw off so you could kind of look inside. Look at how much room there is, absolutely cavernous. Now this is the Rush Blade Stack. I'm gonna be covering that in more detail in another video because it is a really nice ESC and flight controller combo and it comes with this little uh, filtration system that I'm gonna show more. Um, so stay tuned for that. So I do really like this. I'm gonna cover this um, electronics stack separate and then I'm gonna make another video having all this built up and show you what it's like flying. Um, really nice mid-range frame option. And it, even though the price is mid-range, the quality, especially in the chamfered arms and these upgraded standoffs um, are really kind of high-end. So you get a high-end frame for a mid-range price. Not too bad, thanks guys.